Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're going to talk about designing for trends on Redbubble. Let's go! Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today on this video. We're going to be talking about designing for trends on Redbubble. And you're going to want to stay till the end because I go through many examples of different designs and different trends. So you're going to want to watch the whole thing as well as there's another edition of trend credits at the end. So you want to stay all the way to the end for that. Um, but before we start, my name is Juna. I'm a t-shirt designer, graphic designer. I design and sell t-shirts online. My channel is all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, then make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like this video if it's helpful for you. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified of when my next video is. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about this red bubble designing for trends. I put a story in my Instagram feed asking you guys what topic I should be doing. And today we're gonna talk about this designing for trends on red bubble. Thanks for that help. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I do have a lot more tips and tricks and things and trends all on Instagram. This is kind of what you'll be seeing if you're following me on Instagram. I've been doing Instagram for a lot longer than I've been doing YouTube. So there's a lot, a lot of content in there and it's all free. Of course, you can just look on there. So let's uh, talk about trends. When we talk about trends, the trends I'm gonna show you, there's many different ways to find trends on Redbubble, but this is the way I'm gonna find trends today. Um, just this trend search when I type in the autocomplete on Redbubble, I'm gonna look at the searches here and then design for those. Just looking at these icons, if you didn't know this right here, when you see this icon on Redbubble, that means it's trending. And then so I'm gonna just design for those and I'm gonna show you how I find the trend and then what I do to design it in Affinity Designer. So we're gonna go back and forth between Redbubble and Affinity Designer in this video and just show you my ideas on how I would go about approaching these trends. So. Let's just get into Redbubble and I'll show you the first one and we'll go from there. So here we are on Redbubble. Um, you can get here redbubble.com. It usually takes you to the explore page if you're logged in with your account. I'm gonna just start typing in letters. Um, a, Among Us, uh, I think that's a video game. I'm gonna stay away from that. Uh, Art Scott, I, I think that's um, a country thing. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there so I'm just gonna stay away from that. And Among Us here, I'm gonna just go to B. Um, B, let's see, bad things happen in Philadelphia. That is one that I did earlier, so I'm just not gonna do that one again. Um, bad friends, not sure what that is, but be grateful and give thanks. That looks promising um, because that's Thanksgiving, so let's look at it. Um, just hit it and it's gonna search. You can see here, um, be grateful, give thanks. Um, I think this is one that I could do. There's a thousand results, so it's kind of saturated, um, but Thanksgiving is coming up, so I might want to get into here. I'm going to look at best selling. And again, I'm not looking to copy. I'm looking what my competition is, if you see my other videos. Um, not too bad. I, I think there's still some, some room for improvement here. So I'm going to get into Affinity Designer. I'm thinking stickers. I'm thinking maybe stickers instead of t-shirts. It will work for both. Um, I don't see a lot of stickers on here. There's one there, there's this one. So I'm gonna try, I know stickers do really well for Redbubble, so I'm gonna try my hand at stickers for this trend. So let's get into Affinity Designer and start designing. So here I am in Affinity Designer. Be grateful and give thanks. That's the trend I'm gonna work for. I got this font off of Creative Market a while ago. It's called Hazelnut Typeface. And what I like about it is it came with all these doodles. So I'm gonna see if I can find a way to put the type together with some of these doodles and make a nice layout. So I'm just gonna use those two things. And here's kind of what I came up with. I'm gonna zoom out. You can see here, it's just text. Uh, it's just using this text right here. If I typed in, I'll show you the grateful. I'm not changing it at all. The only thing I did um, different here is I use the and in a heart. You can see I took the heart from right here. So that's the heart I'm using. And then I took the leaves. You can see, uh, let me see. 
this leaf right here, I used that at the top and at the bottom I just reversed it. And then I used this leaf and this one, I believe, um, for the top and bottom. I kind of cut, cut out part of this branch here. I didn't want it to go both ways. So you can see this is the layout here. And for the colors, all I did was went on and on the internet and typed in Thanksgiving color palette. And then it came up with this. I like using those brown and oranges and yellows and stuff. So um, that's what I came up with here. All I need to do now is to save it as a PNG and upload it to Redbubble and then put it on different products and see how it looks. I think it would look really good on a sticker as well as on other products. So I'm gonna go back to Redbubble. I'll show you what it looks like on the other products and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm back on Redbubble here. You can see I uploaded my design. Let's see how it looks like on some of the products. You can see here on the t-shirt, it looks fine. It's not as big or tall, but that's okay because I'm doing it more for the stickers here. You can see, I like the way that looks. I, I kind of wish I didn't put, I probably should have put white in here, but it still works. It's not like it's gonna rip out or anything. So I think that's still okay. Uh, let's apply that. Close that. On pillows, I think it looks really nice. So I, I put it on some pillows. Whoops. Shower curtains. I like how it looks on these mugs. So I put it on there. Bags. So I'm just picking and choosing what, I mean, you can put it on everything. I just like to put my stuff on things that look good to me, but that's a different strategy. Other people like the strategy of just putting it on everything because you never know what's going to sell. Up to you, up to you what you want to do. So you can see it looks well on the cotton tote bags. And this sticker, um, this being wider than taller, actually works well for masks. So you can see it looks really good on the mask here. And aprons, I figure there's going to be a lot of cooking during Thanksgiving. Why not put it on an apron? So that's it. I'm going to save this one. And let's look for another trend, huh? All right. That loads up. And... And another thing to do after this loads up, I would suggest after you do your trend, like there's these things here. I know I said this in other videos, but if you want to share it, you can share it on all these things. So free promotion there. If you have your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, I mean, just send it out. I've already did mine. So let's look for another trend. Uh, we did B, let's do C, cute Halloween cat. Let's do that. Boom. There's a lot of competition here. 55,000 results. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I already have a Halloween cat that I did and I didn't put it on Redbubble. So I'll show you what I did there. And basically just updating a design that I already have um, to match this cute Halloween cat theme. So, so I'll go into Affinity Designer again. Just try it. Since I already had the design, normally again, like I said, um, I wouldn't go after something with that many results. It might be really hard because that's super saturated. Your design will have to compete against some of these really nice, really popular stuff. So let's go into Affinity Designer and see what I got. So here I am in Affinity Designer, the cute Halloween cat theme or trend. Um, I drew this cat a long time ago just for an Instagram post. And you can see here just showing you how I drew it. Very simple. If you want to go look at my Instagram post, it was a while ago. It was probably a year ago that I did this. I did a design for it for my merch account. It's feline like Halloween. I'm going to put that on my Redbubble. Again, it's almost like a freebie because I already had it. So you should actually put everything that you do on Merch by Amazon on Redbubble if you can. Uh, I just forgot to do this because I just put so much more things. And I wasn't actually pushing a lot of things to Redbubble at the time. So you can see here, I'm going to put these two. And I'm just going to do one that by itself, because without the words, I think this would make a really good sticker. This is just an example of if you have things already designed that fit the trend, maybe you can do a little tweak, maybe take out some words, add some words, um, just do real quick and throw it up there on Redbubble, you never know. So let's go back on Redbubble and I'll show you how these turned out and go from there. So here we are back on Redbubble, my cute Halloween cat design. Uh, I tagged it. I put the title, It's Feline Like Halloween, since that's the words here. But I made sure to use the word cute and cat in the title. 
I also made sure that I had the tags cute Halloween cat within the tag so hopefully that pulls up again it's super saturated I'll be lucky if it ends up on page one but I already had the design so I'm gonna put it in we can see that this design was made more for t-shirts it's taller than wider so it works really well here it also works well for magnets I think and stickers um, works well on phone cases and pillows and these posters so when you do it taller rather than wider it works well on some of these other things I don't know why I had it on this mini skirt let me take it off I don't think anybody will wear a mini skirt with that um, these bags look really good for a taller design as well as the books uh, it's kind of more of a round shape so it works really well on clocks I think uh, that hands go right on the nose which is kind of cute um, art boards right here uh, prints you can see that works it's kind of it's not wide enough for mass but I'm gonna put it on anyway I think it works kinda of well on here on the bags it works really well and I think it works well on the apron so I did that um, and you can see I'll just save it here and after this we'll go look for another trend so I'm back here looking for trends again I'm just typing in letters to find the trends so here again this is I did this cute Halloween cat I'm not sure what certified lover boy is I'm gonna pass on that one cinephile I think I know what that is I think that's about movies and I like watching movies so let's go into there you should actually do trends that you like and can do so cinephile has a thousand seven hundred eighty five results not as many as the cat it's still kind of high but let's look at the competition I'm gonna look at best selling and so there are some of these more um, movie quotes and movie posters the actual word cinephile is not being used a lot. It's used here um, for these like description shirts and then this one here, um, but not very many else. So I think I can get into this one. I have an idea on what to do. I'm going to go into Affinity Designer and show you my idea on how I would design for this trend. All right, here we are back on Affinity Designer. This is our third design that we're going to do. Cinephile. I had an idea of just using nice simple text and then this film kind of idea again I'm designing for stickers so I'm trying to make it wide instead of tall so what I thought was what would work really well is like this film strip and that's real easy to do all it is is a rectangle here and a rectangle above and then you can do these rounded rectangles at the top so not very hard to do in Affinity Designer um, that probably took me 10 minutes and then I'm using this font here um, it's real a nice simple font you can use a Helvetica or some other font that's just a sans serif there's no serifs on it I think it matches well with the rectangle shape now I did two designs because one design actually has white in the background remember with the stickers uh, it needs to have a background to it and I'll show you the difference and then here this one doesn't have a white background because I don't want that white background on t-shirts and other things to show so I did two here and I'll show you how to actually add two different styles to your red bubble designs or, or your red bubble uploads so let's go back to red bubble and I'll show you how this works alright so here we are on red bubble you can see I uploaded my cinephile design here again real simple just rectangles and rounded rectangles and a font right so here I have it on standard clothing. Let's look at it here. You'll notice when I have it, it doesn't have a white background here and that's on purpose. We want the background to show. I know it doesn't work well on black, but you can see it right there. It's all knocked out. It's one thing. So you don't have the white background, but you do want that white background on stickers. So let me go to stickers now. And here they are on stickers. You can see I put a white background right here on the rectangle, and that's why the sticker is covering the whole thing the outlines covering the whole thing and the way to do that if you have a different design remember I said to save two just hit here replace image and you can actually put an image just for this product or these products stickers and magnets for example and that image which is a different image even though it looks the same has that white rectangle background behind it so that the sticker works better so if you if you have to design something just a little different for stickers or a little bit different for bags or pillows or whatever or masks you can do that and put it in the same 
upload when you do the products and then when people find it you know it will just they will just see it as part of the lineup so that's that's a big tip right there if you want to do it and you can see I put it on pillows I think it would do really well mugs and things like that so and again uh, on masks I think it would do really well because it's again wider than taller so just think about that when you design wide and tall what what kind of products it does better on so let's do another one um, I'm gonna save this and then go back into Redbubble and we're gonna search for the last trend and see how that goes so here I am on Redbubble again I'm gonna just go through the letters uh, I'm D here um, David Goggins I think that's a person I don't want to do that dogs bookends coffee that could be a really hard to design um, I'm just gonna stay away for that for now I might do it later uh, I don't want to do it in this video DC the Dawn not sure what that is I'm gonna to go to E uh, er boo boo crew e, e r boo boo crew <laughs> sorry um, that makes sense let me click there I already have a boo boo crew that I did um, for merch by Amazon so this is gonna be another one of those where I take a design that I already have I didn't put it on Redbubble and so I'm gonna kind of tweak it for this trend and see how it goes this one actually has low results 487 I know that's not very low but I mean it's lower than any of the other ones so I think I can break into this one let me go for best selling here and yeah these are I think I compete with this so I'm gonna go into my affinity designer and show you what I have that I've done and how we're gonna change it for this trend so we're back on affinity designer ER boo boo crew I already had this boo boo crew for that I did for merch by Amazon last year I'm gonna change it a little bit you can see I added the ER here and I added the nurse's hat here and I just did that in you know with the pen tool and stuff and this is just text this text here or this font here is called Valken uh, if you wanted to do that but you can use any font that you want I like using this font because it's nice and round has those round edges kind of matches my design uh, and I also made one where it could be just a sticker by itself so I did that and I'm always thinking about how to do stickers for Redbubble because stickers do really well and I also did a white version here so I mean on white so this one does well on black and this one will do well on a white shirt so we'll see how that works so let's go into Redbubble this one last time and I'll show you how I did for ER Boo Boo Crew Trend here we are back on Redbubble my upload for ER Boo Boo Crew I added nurse and ghost because that's what it is but you can see I used that tag right at the beginning so hopefully when anyone searches for that trend ER Boo Boo Crew mine pulls up because it's right in the front of my title I also use that in the tags and things like that um, you can see here I'm optimizing it for the dark shirts so you can see here what happens is if I did the same design on my stickers with the white text it wouldn't show up on the stickers because the background on stickers on Redbubble are always white so I remember I made those two designs so I went here and again I added replace image and I used the black version or the one that has the white background on it with the black text I used that for my stickers and I used it there and everything else I used black so I I changed my background color here you can do that to black here like that and then everything will be black uh, everything else will be back black that background does not apply to some products like stickers magnets t-shirts actually for the t-shirts I actually had to pick the black color here now you can see it would work well on other colors but I want wanted to see what it would look like on black uh, let's see what else um, so the black background works well on the phone cases the pillows the prints and cards again this one's now taller while rather than wider so it works better on some other products and you can see here I put it on there it has that round shape I think it would work really well on pins I use the other this one with the black text on the tote bags because the tote bags is another one where the background doesn't apply so I went in here and you can do the same thing with tote bags with any of these products replace image so I did it right there and that is it that, that's all of them right there so I'm just gonna upload these as well uh, to my other ones I'm gonna upload some of the other ones without the words 
I would I would suggest always to think of ways to do more stickers on Redbubble. I, I'm noticing stickers do well, so you know if you can take out words or or do something different, do a uh, a sticker pack or something like that, that would do really well. So that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you. We did four of these. I honestly I can do this all day, but this would would make a long video. Just leave in the comments if you if you like this kind of video. I can make more of these, finding trends in the designing form. Uh, I know I didn't go real deep into the, how to design. Those are some of my other videos if you want to watch those on how to use Affinity Designer and make shapes and, and things and trace. But I just wanted to show you my process of finding a trend and then designing for it and then uploading it to Redbubble. And you never know if these are going to sell or not, but... Um, and trends aren't really a long-term strategy, so I just want to let you know that. Like Trends are, are up and down, so they'll give you a quick sale. But if you want to have sales that last throughout the year, you might want to do more evergreen designs. But trends are fun just to try and put it out there and, and get it. So um, those are the difference. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like this video if it gave you lots of value. And... Don't forget to stay tuned for another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying till the end for another edition of Trend Credits. Here's your trend. Kayaking gets me wet. It is on Amazon. You can see the results, 459 results. Kind of high. I would like to see it lower, but you can see the BSRs are kind of low. This one's getting like 48,000, which is really low. These are merch shirts, by the way. Um, 685,000, 287,000, 92,000. So it's a, a cool play on words. People love to do kayaking. Um, here we are at the competition checker, Merch Informer. Again, I have a link in the description for this Merch Informer if you're not on this. Competition checker is getting giving it an A. So, you know, it's a good one to go for. And that is it, that's your trend credit. Think of different ways to, to do this. There's a lot of vintage sunset things going on here. I would probably try and do something different than that. Um, you want to stick out and do something better. Um, have fun with this one. Um, do something that is creative and hopefully gets you on page one. Good luck with this trend. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button to be notified of my next videos. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. Until the next one, see ya.